In July of 2020, I vacuum sealed these chocolate buttons inside this jar. Um, we are now in October 2023. They ran out, they actually expired in terms of the original packaging. They would, would have been deemed unfit to eat as of January 2022, which now means that these are 21 months out of date. And they look exactly the same as when they went into the jar. So I'm going to try one and we'll see if it still tastes good. Oh, it's tight. There you go. See the other hiss as it opened. So these have been just at ambient temperature. They haven't been in the fridge. So you can see, hang on, let me show you here. A couple of them have got a little bit stuck. I'll pick that up. A little bit stuck together. Nope. Oh. That's still perfectly good, delicious chocolate. So I'm going to put that back through the vacuum sealer. I'm not going to do it on this video. We've got loads of videos on how to do the vacuum sealing thing. I'll link to one of them. Um, but that, as far as I'm concerned, is just that's virtually immortal chocolate as long as I keep vacuum sealing it. Now, the only thing I haven't got is I consider this a successful test. This proves that the original plastic packaging is rubbish. Um, and that's the limiting factor on all of that stuff is the lifespan of the packaging itself, not the food. You know, like you get salt that's like, you know, five million years old. It's advertised as such, but it went out of date last year when you buy it. It's the packaging. That's what the problem is. We are sold plastic packaging as the ultimate solution. I'm 50 next year. So even within my lifespan, when I was a child and like it up into my teenage years, a lot of chocolate still came wrapped in um, uh, wax paper packaging. No plastics to be seen on a lot of them, like Bounty Bars, Snickers Bars, Mars Bars. None of them came in plastic. I remember when that transition happened because the packaging was far flimsier afterwards. None of us were ever like, oh no, my chocolate bar has gone out of date. Oh, what a shame. I can't eat it. It, it lasted. It worked perfectly well for the lifespan of that product plastic packaging doesn't last the reason that it has been you know pushed onto everything that we consume everything we eat is wrapped in plastic it's not because it's so good it's because it's manufactured by the oil industry and we know how powerful they are and also because it's cheaper for the manufacturer simple as that plastic is useless half of it is completely unrecyclable and you know all the soft plastics there's a lot of information online proving that when they say, you know, various companies say that they'll take soft plastics and recycle them, they can't. They sometimes turn them into single-use plastics thereafter. That's not really recycling. The only difficulty I've got with this now is I haven't got a control. I haven't got another packet that was still in its original packaging. Open one and see how good that compares, you know, visually and in terms of taste. So, I'm running this experiment one more time. As a part of this so today i've taken two packets of these chocolate buttons i've put them into this jar and i've vacuum sealed it and i've written the date on it i've also put a little bit slip of plastic in there just so i know the expiry date i have also bought another 10 packets of chocolate buttons and they're going to be set aside in some sort of mesh cage so i don't have any issues with you know pests or rodents or anything like that getting onto them so i can actually compare them side by side and as the packaging starts to lose effectiveness we can have a real world comparison in real time this is the last time i'm doing this though because you know i like chocolate and the thought of being multiple packets of chocolate for years in the house in the cupboard that i can't eat I'm not doing it again, right? Because I like chocolate. But this is, I think, probably the next step on from the previous experiment that I did. And I consider that successful, you know? The reason I didn't have control in terms of, you know, having, you know, various ones that I could open up in terms of packaging and so on is that it was a fairly big packet. They were fairly expensive. I didn't want to buy that much Mylar because I really try and avoid it. But also, I know what I'm like and I don't want to have a cupboard full of chocolate that I can't eat. This has called my name on several occasions, right? <laughs> You've no idea how close it's come, right? I haven't eaten them. This is going to be an even bigger temptation, right? So I'm only doing it the once. 
and I'm doing it because plastics is a scam, right? We're sold that plastics are the be all end all, it's the most amazing packaging and we can't possibly live without it. Rubbish. I remember a time before plastics being the default setting on all things. If you needed something that needed a little window so you could see through it, we had cellophane, which is entirely natural. You can compost cellophane, it's awesome. Same goes for um, chocolate. As I say, that came wrapped in wax paper. We still use pl paper packaging for a lot of stuff. Sugar, for example, in the UK at least, still comes in paper packaging. Um, flour still comes in paper packaging. Are we still pretending that either of those things isn't susceptible to going stale? Of course they are. You know, flour in particular, sugar, kind of immortal, but still, it, it infuriates me that everything comes wrapped in packaging. Because this is the thing. We're told that we, we're encouraged to believe that we are inherently destructive, that we just produce pollution. We don't produce pollution. What we produce is produce is compostable. You put your bin out of a weekend, none of that is your waste. None of it. It's all the waste from the industrial supply chain. This sort of junk. Plastic, right? So, yeah, we're going to prove that it is completely unnecessary and an absolute scam beyond having already done so the once. We're going to make it definitive this time because... I thought a few times over the last couple of years. I wish I'd got more, but there we are. Right, plastics, a scam.